Hey, it's Ethan with ComTech. Today, I'm here to demo the CP965 conference room phone. Now, this phone does have to, as a disclaimer, this phone does have to have power. So it either has to have an ethernet cable or it has to have a power cable. It is unlike uh, the CP935W, which is battery powered and can connect to Wi-Fi. That video, I have already done one of those, a demo on that, uh, and that'll be in the description. So what we're going to do is we're going to go directly down this help sheet here. Uh, if you do not have this help sheet, then go in the description. You can click the link there and you can get the, the sheet. But I'm going to pretty much go straight down the list. So the very first thing is making a phone call. If you press the call button, you can see the dialer shows up. Just dial whatever you would like as long as it's 10 digits. You don't need to dial nine. You don't need to dial one. Uh, you don't need to grab a line. You just dial 10 digits and press the call button. Pretty straightforward. Um, ending a call, even more straightforward. When you're in a phone call, this green phone button will turn red. Just press the, the red phone button. It'll hang up the call. Redial. So if you press the call button, um, if it will show you a list of all of your call, calls there. Uh, if you actually drop the dial pad, you can see more calls if you had any. I don't have any in this demo. But if you press the call button again, it's actually going to fill whatever the last number you dialed in and it'll start dialing. So that's your instant redial, which is the next point here on the help sheet. Hold and park, I will cover these together. So hold is personal. Uh, I'm not sure if you're ever going to put too many people on hold or on park when you're in a conference room uh, using this conference room phone, but I'll still explain it. So hold is personal. So if you're in a phone call, one of the options is going to be hold. You're just going to press hold on the screen. The caller, whoever you're speaking with, they will hear hold music, you go and handle what you need to handle, come back, press the hold button again, you'll resume the call. So again, hold is personal. Park is a public hold. So what that means is you can be in a phone call and let's say they're, they're asking for Jim at extension 100, just as an example. So if you're in a phone call, what you're going to do is you're going to press the DSS key, which is right there. You're going to have parking lots. Those are public hold, or that's what ComTech here, uh, we call them public holds. So if you press park, it'll move the call into that parking lot. This parking lot will actually light up red. You then can go and speak. You can call Jim, or you can go to Jim's office and say, hey, so-and-so's on park two, or whichever park you put them on. Jim's going to do the same thing. He's going to press DSS key if he has a conference room phone. If he has a regular phone, he's probably just going to press the park button. Uh, but he'll choose the park, and when he chooses it, it'll take it out of the parking lot, and now Jim can be talking to that caller. So again, hold is a personal hold. Park is a public hold. Intercom, not sure if you're ever going to do this on a conference room phone, but I'll show you. If you press the dial button there, or the, the phone, you dial star five zero and then whatever extension it is. So if it's Jim, it's star five zero and then extension 100 in this example. You hit the phone button. It's going to go directly into Jim's uh, speaker on his phone. And you can say, hey, Jim, are you in there? You have a call on part two, whatever it may be. Transfer and transfer directly to voicemail. If you're on a phone call, one of the options is transfer. If you hit transfer, you can dial an internal or external uh, number, whichever one you would like. Whenever you dial that, go ahead and hit the transfer button again, and that's what sends the call through. So again, if I use the same example, I'm going to transfer the phone call to Jim. I'm going to hit transfer, dial Jim's extension, which is 100, and then I'm going to hit transfer again. Now, let's change that example just a little bit. Let's say if we know that Jim is in a meeting and we, we don't want to actually ring his phone. Instead, we want the caller to go directly into voicemail. We've already told the caller, hey, Jim's in a meeting. I'm going to send you to his voicemail. What you're going to do is you're going to press transfer. And then instead of dialing Jim's extension only, you're going to press 7. So the number, the number 7 in front of the extension tells the system, hey, go directly into Jim's voicemail. So transfer, 
seven, the extension, and then again, you hit transfer one more time to complete it. Conference, uh, if you're in an active call, there's either going to be a conference button on the screen or there might be an invite button. Uh, Yealink likes to change it up on us a little bit, but as of May 2022, when I'm recording this video, it says, I believe it says invite right now uh, on the conference room phones. Just click that. It's going to give you a dial tone. You're going to dial an internal extension or an external number, and then you can connect the two. You'll see all the calls merge there on the screen. D&D &D button. So if you scroll down from the top, there is a D&D &D button. That stands for Do Not Disturb. If you turn that on, what's going to happen is it's going to pop up, and it, it actually is pretty obvious here. It says D&D &D mode is enabled, and it has a little red circle with a white line through it. This means that this phone, if anyone calls it directly, it will not ring. It will go directly to voicemail, uh, but the trick is it can still make phone calls out. So if you're using a conference room phone and you find that somebody's trying to call you directly on this extension and it's not ringing, it's going directly to voicemail, but you can still make calls out, most likely it's D&D's turned on. You can turn it off by either clicking exit D&D &D mode or you can scroll down and just simply click the D&D &D button. Volume is down here. We like to refer that uh, refer to that here at Comtech as situational volume. So whatever your current situation is, that is what the volume is going to change. As this phone's just sitting here not doing anything, if I was to hit either one of these volume keys, what that's going to do is it's going to change the ringer volume. If I'm on an active call and I press either one of those buttons, that's going to change the volume of the call. The final thing here is support. Um, so you can email us at support at comtechnc.com or give us a phone call. We'll be more than happy to talk to you and help you with any of the, the Yealink conference room phone needs. Um, I do recognize that there is a whole other part of the sheet. I am not going to go over that right now because it is about setting up a voicemail and passwords and that sort of thing. We typically don't see that with a conference room phone. Most of the time, they don't have voicemails. Uh, but if you need help with that, then still let us know. But hopefully this is helpful. Uh, have a great day. Thank you for making it to the end of the video. Now you can click that subscribe button or you can leave us a comment below. We look at every single one of the comments because it allows us to make better videos for you. Uh, and I will be the one who actually responds back to your comment. If you want to look at us evaluating your system uh, to make sure that your Yealink system is running the most efficiently and you're getting the most out of it, then shoot us an email at sales at comtechnc.com. I will have that link here uh, below, and we look forward to hearing from you.